um, we're going to do a drawing that uses American Sign Language. So again, using our hands. So uh, you can see this top image going to con continue your understanding of what a contour drawing is and refine your observational skills in this assignment while creating an image that represents how you are coping with the pandemic. So I'd like you to do this on a 9 by 12 inch white drawing paper, which is the heavier paper that was in your packet. Depending on the word you choose and how many letters there are, you might need two sheets of paper. You're going to start with pencil. You can do the whole assignment in pencil if you want. I'm giving you an optional extra credit to um, work with a marker at the end, and we'll talk about that at the end. So this um, is an a photograph of all of the letters that make up American Sign Language. Um, and they're there just for your reference. These are not what you're going to be drawing. Okay. Um, so what I want you to do is, is take a look at the letters, first of all, and realize that American Sign Language is a complete natural language that has the same linguistic properties as spoken languages but it has different grammar than English because obviously you can't make a character for every single word. So some words have to be spelled out. Some things, you know, like this represents thank you. Um, some things are more of a natural understanding, like almost all of us already know about a hundred different sign language words. Um, we just don't realize that they are our words in sign language. And it's fascinating to me that there are, um, different languages and different alphabets in different countries. So this is American Sign Language. So I want you to think about how you've been feeling during the pandemic. Um, and it could be in general over the whole period, or it could be just right now, that kind of thing. And think about what is the one word that encompasses how you feel or are feeling this week. And start by writing that word in um, small down at the bottom of your paper. So for me, my word is tired <laughs> um, because I'm, I do find it very tiring to do this kind of thing day in and day out. Um, and, you know, I'm tired because I'm not going many places and doing as many things as I have. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of tired of all of, you know, all of the restrictions and everything we have to do. So that's my word. Um, the next thing you have to do is figure out how big your hands can be in order to fit on one or two of these pieces of paper. Because I don't know about you, but there have been many times in my life where I've started to write something big, like on a poster, and I've gotten, you know, I'm getting towards the end of the word, and I realize it's not all going to fit, and it gets, you know, it has to get shrunk and smaller and smaller, and it's like, oh, no. So I thought if we did a little planning from the beginning, that would make sense. So... You start, whenever you're doing this, whether it's a drawing or whether it's typesetting or anything like that, you count how many letters are in your word. So the word tired has five letters, right? And my paper is 12 inches wide. But five doesn't go into 12 evenly. But five goes into 10 evenly. So what I did was I started by um, making some little marks on either side that were one inch in so that my drawing would, would be within like a one inch border. And then five goes into 10 two times, right? So I could fit the five letters if they were two inches wide all the way across. Now I've actually written the letter in, but you guys are gonna draw the hand where it fits. You know, So don't, don't start by writing these letters. Um, unless you really need to, you could put it underneath and then erase it later. So you always start with the middle one and then you work your way out from there. So the E came next, the I is on the left hand side and ultimately I would put the T and the D. And what I want you guys to do is to draw your own hands doing this. Please do not draw these people's hands. <laughs> and you're going to have to photograph your hand when you're done and upload them. But what that means is I, I really, really don't want you drawing from your photographs because it looks totally different than when you draw from real life. Um, so resist the temptation to try to draw it from your photographs. Do the photos at the very end. Um, so you're basically just going to start by drawing the first one in and then draw the others as you go. 
Um, try to get as much detail as possible, and this time you can look at your paper. <laughs> you can make erases, erasures, you can correct things. Um, we're trying to try to get them, you know, the right scale so that it's not like a teeny tiny little hand with big huge fingers, that kind of thing. And when you're done, take a photo and upload it. Also, take individual photos of each of the letters that you did with your hands. And if it's too hard for you to photograph them, um, you can ask somebody else to, to do it. You can just hold your hand up and make, make the, the marks and have, have them photograph it for you. And then the optional extra credit is if you would like to make your drawing a little bit more stylized, you can, after you've photographed it, please don't just upload this one. I want to see the drawing first and then you can upload this part. But after you've um, photographed and uploaded it, you can draw over your pencil lines with a Sharpie. Crisp them up if you want so that it looks a little bit more like this one, which spells out L-O-V-E. All right, so that's for extra credit. Um, your points will be 10 points for having the lines describe your form accurately and have character in detail. If you wear jewelry, you know, if you wear rings or something like that, feel free if that ends up in the image, you know, to draw that as part of it. You get 10 points if your hands are clearly drawn from observation of your hand and not from a photo or from somebody else's drawings. You get 10 points if your letters fit well on the page and are spaced relatively evenly. Just, you know, do your best on that part. Five points if you um, uploaded all of the drawings um, and the photos. Um, here the optional extra credit says zero points, but I will put in points there if you do decide to go over it with a black marker. And you get five points for effort on this for taking your time, not rushing through or cheating the process and giving it your best effort. All right, so questions. This is due January 5th. 